morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are in the world. Uh, my name is Nathan McCullough, and I am a gold director from America. So I am coming to you from live from uh, Washington, D.C. area. So it's about 1 a.m. in the morning here, and we are rocking. So it's great to see everybody on the call. Uh, I see Indonesia's in the house, Philippines in the house. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I've actually been building full time in Indonesia for the last five years. So I've actually been to the last three uh, business summits in the in the Philippines. So spent lots of time with Mom Dude and um, lots of time with uh, Ryan and Raj and a lot of the a lot of the diamonds in the Philippines. So I've learned I've learned a lot in the last couple of years from the leaders in the Philippines. So feel feel really blessed to be such an amazing uh, part of such an, an amazing global community of, of entrepreneurs all over the world. So if you are uh, already a USANA associate, welcome. I hope that you get some information for yourself tonight and you leave with some motivation. Uh, and if you are a guest here tonight and you're, and you're here exposed to USANA for the first time, very, very uh, welcome to you. And um, we're going to share some information with you tonight that, that might change your life. So um, the first thing I want to do is share a little bit about um, myself and how I got introduced to USANA and the kind of impact that USANA's had on my life. So um, my journey into entrepreneurship actually started in, 2000, in 2009, right after the global crisis hit in America, I left um, graduate school. So at that time, I was in a PhD program for philosophy in the US. And um, when the global crisis hit, all of the money for the higher education was gone. And so my dream of being a professor, a professor crashed and burned. And I had a friend of mine that was uh, I, that I went to high school with in the U.S. who had moved out to New Zealand, and was he was calling me, calling me, calling me, asking me to come out to New Zealand for years. And I I had a path that I was going down, and I was I was I was confident in being a philosophy professor, and that's how I saw my life going until. Uh, things went sideways and that option got taken away from me. And so I decided to move to New Zealand in 2009, started a, uh, a franchise of wellness clinics in New Zealand in 2009 with a buddy of mine from high school. And we grew that from one little, one little wellness uh, clinic in, in Ponsonby, right in, the middle of, uh, right in the middle of Auckland. And we grew that to about eight shops in a matter of like three years. And I thought I was really on my way to being uh, the entrepreneur that I dreamed, I dreamed of being. Um, but the reality of being a traditional business owner was, was very different actually than, than I, originally, I originally anticipated. I think sometimes in movies and, and things that we see, uh, entrepreneurship is really um, glorified, I guess, in, in some extent. It was very, very difficult for me. I was 20, uh, I was 28 years old at that time. It was my first business. And um, we had a lot of success pretty quickly. And it, it took a huge toll, actually, on my health. I started feeling lots of stress, lots of pressure, lots of anxiety, um, started living a lifestyle that wasn't congruent with health and wellness. I put on about 30 pounds and um, the, the shiny veneer of, of success on the outside was actually covering up um, a lot of personal issues that were going on in my life. And to, uh, by the grace of God, I was, I was introduced to USANA in 2013 by a friend of mine named James um, in, in New Zealand. I had a friend um, named Regina, who's originally from Indonesia, who had a pretty, pretty serious health condition. And she, she got introduced to the, to the health products from, from James, had an incredible health transformation with her, with her pregnancy. And um, 
that was really my first exposure with nutritional nutritional products. And at that time, you know, we had some wellness clinics that were that were that were growing, um, and we decided, hey, you know, obviously Regina's had such an amazing um, health transformation. Let's start looking at carrying these nutritional products in the in the wellness clinics. And we did that for about two years. And um, I did USANA really part-time for about two years, basically just sold the, the, the products in the clinics for a while, um, exposed, you know, a couple of friends and family um, to USANA at that time. And um, thank, God I, thank God I did um, because the, our wellness clinics were, were growing um, in, in numbers of shops, but my income was not. <laughs> So, um, you know, a lot of people didn't know at that time, but I, I was actually sleeping on the floor of my wellness clinic. We had like massage beds. We did chiropractic care and massage and acupuncture and different things. And I was actually sleeping in my wellness clinic and then going down to the Les Mills in, in, in Auckland and, and showering at the gym, putting my, putting my suit and my smile on and going to work every day. Um, but I wasn't making any, I wasn't making any money after overheads and paying our staff and paying everything. Um, there wasn't any, there wasn't any income coming back in for, for me. And so luckily, you know, I got introduced to USANA, did it part-time for a couple of years in, um, 2015, USANA announced that they were going to actually launch into the Indonesian marketplace. And at that time, I was making more in USANA than I was in my in 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 three of my traditional businesses combined, and so at that point I made a decision in my in my life. I had a woman in my life at that time who was originally she was originally from India. I was originally from America. I was working you know 60, 70, 80 hours a week, 360 uh, 362 days a year. So um, I was basically taking one or two days off a year. And she wanted to get married, but there was really no, I didn't see any reality in which we could, we could get married because I was working so much and our families were in different parts of the world. And so when USANA announced that they were going to open up in 2015, she was a full-time teacher at that time. And she was the one that actually said to me, what if we drop, <clears throat> what if you um, get out of traditional business and you do USANA full-time? And that was the first time she had really planted that seed in my mind. And we made a decision. She, she, quit, her, she quit her job as a teacher and um, we got out of the traditional business game. And um, we spent uh, about nine months. We got married in the US. You can see the top left-hand picture there. We got married in the US one time. And then on the right-hand side, you can see her and I in India. We got married in India. A second time, we went on our honeymoon to Seychelles on the east coast of Africa. And then we, we, we moved to Indonesia and we started growing in a, in a market where we didn't know any people and we didn't know the language. So uh, my, my wife and her sister were both full-time teachers. They both, they both retired from teaching. They sold their house in New Zealand and we moved everything to um, Indonesia and went all in, in our, in our USANA business. And it was the greatest decision that we've ever, that we've ever made. So that was six years ago. And my wife and I are now both full-time USANA associates. Actually that top picture there you see was in the Philippines during the, during the, the, the 10 year business, the, the 10 year anniversary business summit. Hey, hey Nathan, we're not being able to see your slides. All we're seeing is just, um, the view of your camera on your screen. So, it basically like you're sharing your other window that shows your camera rather than sharing your PowerPoint. Is that better? Now we got it. Okay. All right. So that probably, so hopefully you got a little bit of a sense of what I was talking about there. The top left-hand corner is my, is my wife and I. We are in our, our wedding in, uh, in America. We're actually drinking some Rev3s there, which, which are from, from USANA. We gave Rev3s to everybody that came to the wedding. Um, that picture up at the top there is, is, is me and Simmer and Deep 
and um, some of our other leaders in in the Philippines for the ten year the ten year business summit. And then uh, you know my wife and I basically for the last six years have been growing together in USANA, going on trips all around the world, and it's really it's been an extraordinary. It's been an extraordinary experience, and I will tell you uh, a little bit more as as we go on. Um, USANA has really provided us um, an amazing opportunity at the moment because of what's going on in in the global situation. Where my wife is actually um, she's in India at the moment. We had to we had to part ways when we were leaving Indonesia, um, but it hasn't affected our lifestyle. Um, at all, really. I mean, obviously we're apart, but we have a business that we grow completely online. We're in 11 different countries. And so, you know, we have our lifestyle has not has not taken a hit aside from being apart. So um, I've never been more grateful for for my USANA business at the moment. So with that said, let's explore um, th the, the challenges that everybody face. OK, it doesn't matter where you are from in the world, what your background is. We all have to deal with three main things, right? Money, time, and health. If you ask anybody um, the things that are most important to them, these are inevitably going to be um, three of the top things that, that people talk about. They might talk about hobbies and family and different things like that, but those things will also be part of you know time and income and things like that. So money, time, health, three of the things, three of the biggest things that we deal with. So let's look at money first, right? This is obvious for everybody at the moment, right? The world economy is changing like it never has before. And, you know, one of the things that the, the pandemic, the global pandemic has done is it's really accelerated something that was, that's already happening. You know, for the last five, you know, five, 10 years, there's been an enormous, um, there's been an enormous shift in the global marketplace and in terms of the way that people are, are, are doing business. And, um, and so this has really just sped, sped that trend up. And um, now, you know, obviously we need to be able to, we need to be able to pivot quickly so that we can keep up with what's going on in, in the world. So if you look at the last, if you look at the last 10 years, the major industry um, producers or disruptors have been companies that have a completely different business style or this business um, format, right? So retail has been the, the model that has driven uh, business for a long time. And now, um, you know, you're seeing all these other different types of companies come up, Amazon, Facebook, Uber, Netflix, Tesla, you know, and, and one of the things that a lot of these companies have in common is they empower the customer base to actually participate in the business model, which is extraordinary. So if you think about Uber, right, they empower passengers to become drivers. If you think about Amazon, they, they empower customers to be um, business partners. Uh, Airbnb, same thing. So you have this sort of social, this sort of social network to business that's, that's been happening. And the impact of the global trends has been uh, the retail market is just dying globally. You know, gone are the days when people are spending all of their times in, in, in malls and going out and shopping, um, all of that, right? People are living here, right? Gary Vee, if you guys are familiar with Gary Vee, he said the phone is now the, it's the radio, it's the television, it's the, it's the, uh, it's everything, right? So this is where, this is where we communicate. This is where we shop. This is where we get our news and business is no different. So the traditional retail model is dying and there's the whole new global trend of online, of online business. So for those of you who are in the Asia market, um, you know, they have Uber Eats here in the U.S. and different places, but in in uh, in the Asian markets, we have Grab and 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 Gojek and these different company co companies that have made everything fast. So you can get Go massages. You can get somebody that you can literally jump on your phone and get someone to come clean your apartment in ten in ten fifteen minutes. 
you know, you can, you can jump on your phone and you can get someone to pick up your laundry and go do your laundry and bring it back. Like the world, the world is changing. And so, you know, as, as consumers, we have to smarten up because there's an opportunity here, not just to, not just to be a consumer, but to actually plug into the way that this business is working and create something for ourselves. So if you look at social media is really, it's really the thing that drives the opportunities moving forward for everybody that's on this call. Social media is the thing that you have to be able to leverage in order to create an advantage for yourself. So if you look at the major corporations at the moment, Under Armour, Nike, Adidas, Coca-Cola, like a lot of these big name brands, they're using influencers. Like you can see Adidas and Kanye West, Nike and LeBron, Under Armour and The Rock, right? These major corporations are using influencers because they realize that people are on their phones. They're not looking at TV commercials anymore. They're not looking at billboards anymore. So they're going to where people are looking, where people are communicating. And the beauty of that is that, you know, obviously you're, I'm not The Rock, I'm not LeBron, I'm not Kanye, but I am an influencer, right? We're all influencers in some way, shape or form. And the way that you leverage social media to create something for yourself is you learn, you learn how to do this. Because gone are the days of traditional advertising. And right now is an incredible time in history because you can plug into the most powerful networks in the world for free. You can literally tell your story and, and share with people on social media and create a platform for free. Okay, it probably won't always be like that, right? Because your major corporations that spend all of their billions of dollars in traditional marketing, that will start moving over into social media. But right now, we have an, you have an incredible opportunity to be able to take advantage of this um, free way of marketing. I mean, if you, you just take Kyla Jenner, for example, right? 21 years old, youngest self-made billionaire, okay? the whole thing done on social media, just built out of social media. And, you know, Kylie's one of the first ones to do it, but you're seeing it happen all the time, right? You're, we're just going to keep seeing it more and more and more. TikTok is the new thing, right? You see, you see um, <clears throat> the, young, the young ones really leading the way on TikTok, but TikTok, you're going to see people from all different ages are going to start using TikTok and that's going to grow into a next, you know, one of the next massive uh, platforms. And that's going to, that's going to start pumping out um, millionaires as well. So these platforms are here. So we need to, we need to wake up and take advantage of these things and learn how to leverage them to grow a business. So if you look at the way that people make money today in the world, right, we can, broadly speaking, put them in four different categories, right? They're people who have jobs, right? So you're an employee, you're self-employed, um, you're, you do an investing of, of lots of different kinds, or you, or you can be a, a, a business owner. And so, you know, people that have, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a job, you know, heck. Right now, there's a lot of people in the world that would die for a job, right? 30, I think it's over 30 million people in the US have been laid off since the beginning of COVID like that. So jobs are, jobs are great. You know, there's a lot of meaningful work out there. Um, you know, if people, if people weren't working, the world wouldn't work, right? So there's nothing wrong with jobs. However, we have to, be, we have to realize that jobs are limited in our ability to earn because the amount of income that we can make is constrained by the amount of hours that we can work. So with a, with a, with a, uh, a traditional job model where you're trading time for money, if you wanna make more money, you have to work more hours or get another job and essentially work more hours. And the, and the, the harsh reality of, of, of that is that about 70, over 70% 70 of the American population, at least, have reported that they, that they hate their job. So here's something that people are spending most of their, 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 their time when they're not sleeping, um, doing something that they don't like doing. Okay, so that's, that's not empowering. 
So a lot of people, what you'll what what you see the the trend for a while was people would start doing Airbnb, they would start doing Uber, they would start doing a little side hustle in order to create a little bit of cash on the side, right? So they have multiple streams of income. Very smart as as a business owner. The problem with that is these types of linear side hustles are still dependent on your they're still dependent on your on your time, right? If you're if you're an Uber driver, you're you're not getting a, a percentage of other Uber drivers commissions, right? Uber's getting a percentage of all the of the drivers commissions. So it's good for Uber and it's good for you to make a little bit of a cash flow, but there's no there's no opportunity to leverage. So you know, what we need to start thinking about is, is ways that we can start multiplying our time is, is really the, the, the kind of way to, way to look at it is, is le- they call it leverage, right? So if you're investing, you're, you're using money to make money. So you're leveraging off of money in order to make money. Same thing with um, things like real estate. You know, if you have, if you have um, positive cash flow, you can take that cash flow, invest it into real estate or stock market or um, different things like that, where your money can make money. Now, a business owner is a little bit different, right? So we're going to focus in on we're going to focus in on on starting your own business, because a business owner, unlike being self-employed and being in, being employed, you can start growing a team, and you can start leveraging off of the efforts of other people in order to multiply your your time and your income right? We're all limited. We're all finite beings. We can only work so, so many hours. Um, but with, but as a traditional, as a, as a business owner, especially an online business owner, um, you have the opportunity to be able to multiply that. And we're going to, we're going to talk about that a little bit more as time goes on, but that leads us very naturally into, um, the second challenge, which is time. Right. So if you look at if you look at the amount of hours that you have in the day and then what you spend your time doing, you'll very quickly find out that there's not a whole lot of time that you can add, um, you know, extra things into. So if you take, you know, work generally, you know, for your average employees, you're looking at about eight hours, eight hours a day. And then if you're someone who is, you know, taking care of your well-being, um, you know, you're sleeping anywhere between, let's say, six, six and eight hours a day. And then you have, you know, time that you want to spend with your fam- family, um, time eating with your friends, working out, hobbies, free time, things like that, right? So the reality is we all have, we all have 24 hours in a day. So the question is, if everybody has the same 24 hours, how do you multiply time? Because this is where um, successful business owners come in. They think about how they can multiply efficiency and multiply time. So if you look at the traditional employee mindset, you're looking at working 40, 50 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, which is you know, 2,500 hours per year. You do that over, over, the, over the 40 years, and that's 100,000 hours. Okay versus, you know, they call it working smarter instead of harder, right? So working, working with a team, right? Being able to create a team and leveraging off of other people's time, you can get a hundred people that works five hours a week. Okay. Anybody can put in five hours a week, hundred people working five hours a week. That's 500 hours a week. In over four years, you can do the hundred thousand hours. Okay. Now, obviously, you'd never be able to work 500 hours a week personally. So now you've got you've got a situation where you can start you can start creating freedom for yourself, because as you build a team, you can start buying your time back, right? You can start investing that time into other things. So there's lots of things that start becoming available when you're able to build a team and create and create leverage for yourself. So the last thing, um, the last challenge is health, okay? Now, obviously, this is a big one based on what's going on in the world at the moment. Most people now would tell you that health has become their, their number one priority because there's a lot of fear going on in the world. There's a lot of crazy things that have, have been going on. And I think um, for the first time in a long time, health has now become really in the forefront of people's mind. So, I mean, in my opinion, it's a good thing, 
because the reality is, you know, the COVID virus is scary because it's, it's something that, you know, sort of out of control. But the reality is even before the coronavirus, we had things like diabetes, the biggest epidemic that the world has ever seen. So we've actually had a global, a global health crisis that has been happening for a long time that's just now sort of bubbled up to the surface because of what's going on at the moment. So all of that means something interesting for the business world as well. And that is that the health and wellness industry right now is exploding. I mean, if you just take a look at your average person's, you know, you know, Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, um, especially Instagram, the amount of people that are posting about what they eat, about their, what they exercise, about what they're doing is extraordinary, right? There's this global conversation about, about optimal levels of health that are happening right now that's, that's never happened before. And so, you know, you can look at the entertainment industry, 2.6 trillion, tech industry, 3.4 trillion, and then the wellness, the, the health and wellness industry, almost $12 trillion. Okay, this is an extraordinary moment in history where you have this confluence of people looking for opportunities because of you know, the loss of jobs, because of the global market, and then also this increase in awareness around the importance of health, right? And, and, and we are sitting in a situation where we have an extraordinary opportunity where we have a, a company that has some of the best health products in the world that also are you know, giving people opportunities. So health and wellness, you know, like we said, it's, it's become mainstream. You know, I'll share with you when I, when I moved to Indonesia five years ago, there was no, people were not exercising hardly at all outside. You know, there were some big gyms that were there, but when I first moved there, I couldn't find anywhere to eat hardly anywhere. It was like fried rice. It was nasi goreng, mi goreng. It was just, you know, fried food everywhere. And within, within five years of me being in Jakarta, the, the proliferation of explosion of health and wellness options, cold pressed juices, vegan restaurants, um, these acai bowl places, like these health and wellness um, businesses were, is just exploded to the point where I could literally jump on the Gojek um, and be at a health food restaurant in two minutes or order it to my order it to my place like such a radical night and day difference just in a couple of years and that's just beginning so we're actually at the beginning of a global trend that's going to continue so if you look at the supplement industry the good news is that most people are already taking supplements okay because they realize that they're not as healthy as they want to be. You know, people will report to you very clearly their energy levels are not where they want it to be. They're having stomach issues. They're, 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 they're dealing with health issues and they don't want to be on, you know, medication all the time. So people are actively looking for solutions that are more holistically oriented. And so people are taking supplements already. So our goal is to get them off of unregulated, unsubstantiated you know, nutritional products that are made at a lower quality and simply transition into extraordinary products at a relatively similar price point. It's, USANA is really a no brainer for someone who is really looking to take care of their health. So let's talk a little bit about um, USANA specifically. So what makes USANA unique? Um, there's, a, there's a couple of things in my mind that make USANA very unique. And the first and foremost is the founder of the company. Okay, so Dr. Myron Wentz is the founder and chairman of USANA. Um, he's a microbiologist. He's an immu immunologist. Um, he's, been a, he's been one of the world leading experts in human cells for like 50 years. So this guy, he knows his stuff. And he has, you know, his vision is a world that's free of pain and suffering in a world that's free from degenerative disease. 
And so, you know, it's very unique when you have a nutritional company. Like if you look at a lot of the major nutritional companies, they're all started by very smart entrepreneurs that could see a global trend in health and wellness coming. And they started developing health products to be able to meet that need so that they can capitalize that need on the market, which is smart. However, Dr. Myron Wentz was way ahead of his time. He developed USANA from a very different place, right? He created a company um, that was that was designed around meeting health, um, creating health solutions to problems, right? Not just business solutions. So he actually started in the 70s. He founded a company called Goal Laboratories, where they were keeping uh, human human cells healthy in 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 uh, in petri dishes and keeping them keeping them healthy for. Um, long, long periods of time. Um, and then what happened with Dr. Wentz is actually two, his parents both died of degenerative diseases. So he was in... He, he, you have to unmute yourself again, Nathan, but I, but I just got to mute everybody else because we just have someone else that was uh, had theirs here. One sec. So there we go. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, so Dr. Wentz, both of his parents passed away from degenerative diseases. And he realized at that time that even though what they were doing at Gold, Lab, Gold, Gold Labs was extraordinary, right? They were creating test kits for um, diagnostic kits for different viral, viral um, things that, were, that people were dealing with that are still used in the world today. So what they were doing was extraordinary, but he could see the writing on the wall. Both, I mean, you know, he's an extraordinary cellular biologist, but both of his parents died of degenerative diseases. So he could see that the future of what we were gonna do with, deal with as a global community had more to do with degenerative diseases than it did with infectious diseases. And so he really shifted focus in, in, in the early 90s and he created USANA with the vision and the mission of creating extremely high quality nutritional products that, I could, that, that could actually prevent some of the leading causes of diseases that we have today. Um, he, he developed a, 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 a hospital in um, New Mexico called Sanaviv, which is a functional medicine hospital. It's extraordinary. The, the work that they're doing at, at Sanaviv is some of the most cutting edge technology in the world. So some of you um, might know a gentleman named Mark Hyman. He's a, he's a functional medicine doctor in the US, really famous, famous functional medicine doctor. And um, he, did a, he did an interview recently where he basically said all of his patients that he can't heal at the Cleveland Clinic he sends them all down to to Sanaviv to to get taken care of to get taken care of there. So this is uh, one another one of Dr. Wentz's babies, um, and really they're doing extraordinary work there. So um, that's sort of the the impetus behind USANA. We're now celebrated. Um, we've been in the market for since since 1992. So been around for a long time um, and we're in 24, 24 different markets. So yeah, 25 year history, publicly traded, which means everything is 100% transparent, which is extraordinary. Um, even the facility that we have in Utah is um, it's registered with the FDA. So they're, they're making products to a pharmaceutical or a medical grade. And even the transparency is in the is in the manufacturing facility as well. If you, you can actually go to the manufacturing facility and they have glass walls where you can actually see what's happening. You you don't even have to be in a USANA associate. You can actually get a tour of the USANA facility and you can see what is actually going on behind behind the curtain. So in an unregulated supplement industry, it is extraordinary to have a company that goes above and beyond in the way that USANA does in terms of making sure that they have the highest quality raw ingredients, the highest quality manufacturing, and they get registered with as many third party um, certifications as they can. We are well over a billion dollars in, in global sales at the moment, and we're in, um, 
We're in 24 markets and growing. So these are some of the markets that we are open in, in the world. And if you think about, you know, USADA does about 1.4 billion, I think, at the moment. And we're only open in, I think, 26 markets, actually. And so if you look at some of the other network marketing companies that have been around for a long time, a lot of them are in, you know, 90 markets, 50 plus markets, 90 markets. And they're doing, you know, seven, $10 billion in, in, in 90 markets. And, and we're doing 1.4 and only 26. So the up... <laughs> The upside potential for USANA globally moving forward, we're not even in some of the biggest markets in the world. So the, our, our growth potential is literally just, just getting started. So these are some of the accolades. You know, when you, when you look at a, a company like USANA, um, company of the year, best uh, nutritional supplement manufacturer of the year, two years in a row by biotechnology awards. Um, right now we have over 4,000 Olympic and professional athletes that trust USANA. We are right now the, we have more athletes that, that are brand ambassadors for USANA than any other supplement company in the world. And that was one, when I first started in USANA, that was one of the things that really attracted to me. I was, I was actually training for my first amateur boxing fight in New Zealand. And at that time, uh, Manny Pacquiao was getting ready to fight Timothy Bradley, I think, for the second time. And when they fought the second time, they were both USANA associates. Or they were both USANA uh, athletes. And, you know, I was training for my, my boxing fight at that time. So I figured, you know, if these guys trust their body to USANA, then that's good enough for me. And then obviously you can see number one direct selling brand um, six years in a row by consumerlabs.com. So it's not, you know, unlike a lot of nutritional companies that are out there that make a lot of uns unsubstantiated claims that they have the best product, they have the best this, the best that. Um, if you actually ask them to show any empirical evidence of that, they don't have any. At USANA, we have we we run clinical trials, which is unheard of for nutritional products. We have consumer labs, which we're certified with. There's a book called uh, the NutriSearch Comparative Guide, where we've had a five star gold rating for over over 15 years. So the there's we have a lot of third party um, companies that will actually attest to the quality of USANA's products and and manufacturing. So it's not just us saying that we're amazing. So this is really our, this is where everything begins really. Like if, if you build a house, the most important thing that you do is you build a strong foundation. And the, fa and the foundation of our personalized nutritional programs at USANA is the cell essentials. So you have the vita antioxidants and you have the core, core minerals. And you can see here, you'd have to eat more than 22,000 calories a day and spend more than 33 US dollars a day just to get the same amount of nutrients that you get in the, in the cell essentials. So divide that by, divide that by uh, 30 and you're looking at you know, a, little over a, a little over a dollar a day and you're getting optimal levels of the, all of the nutrients that your body needs to thrive, not just survive. A lot of people might say, oh, you know, we can get all of the food that or all the nutrition that we need from food. But the world has changed. Our food has changed. The nutritional density of the food that we're eating has gone way down. So your, the ability to get the amount of nutrients from food alone is radically different than it was 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. So you'd have to spend a lot more money um, and eat a lot more food to get the same amount of nutrition, or you can spend a dollar, you know, a dollar twenty-seven a day, I think it is, for um, broad spectrum protection. So aside from the the cell essentials, which is the foundation, right? On top of that, we can build the rest of our house in terms of our nutrition. So we have um, other essentials. Um, so USANA. One of the things I love about USANA are it you don't have to be a nutritionist or a dietitian or a health professional to understand how we roll, right? We, it's color coded, right? So your, your cardiovascular system that deals with the gentleman, the heart, right? That's in your purple, your green, your green products are going to be in the, 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 sorry, your digestive products are going to be in the green. 
the skeletal system. So your muscles and your, and your bones, they're going to be in your, in your light blue or your gray. Um, so they're actually color coded, right? So you can actually, you can actually orient yourself with what the products do by, by just learning the colors, which is, which is amazing. Um, and then we also have a, a food range. So low glycemic foods, um, you know, we talked earlier a little bit about um, diabetes and really obesity in general is a global epidemic like we've never seen. Um, and really, I believe, you know, I'm an integrative nutritionist and I really believe that the number one thing that people can do is stabilize their blood sugar because it affects your hormones, it affects your cravings, it affects your moods. It, it, the, the, the behavior that drives what you do from a health standpoint is really um, the, cause, the cause of a lot of that is your blood sugar. If your blood sugar is way up and down and you're spiking your blood sugar all the time, your emotions are going to be all over the place. You're going to be making food decisions based on cravings instead of, instead of um, what your body needs. So the health, food, the health foods that we have are designed to be low glycemic, so low in sugar, so they don't, they don't spike your blood sugar. So you can get that nice stabilized insulin and, and blood sugar to help you release fat naturally and to help stabilize um, your blood sugar. So our, the food range that we have is really, really extraordinary. We have whey proteins, soy proteins. Um, for your athletes that want some additional protein, we have some pure protein boosters. Um, fiber is super important. The amount of people walking around today with digestive issues is totally out of control. Fiber is a phenomenal way to feed your, 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 your gut, what it, the good stuff, what it needs, help keep your, your evacuation regular and help you keep healthy in, in the gut system. Uh, and then the skincare, I use the skincare twice a day, every single day. <laughs> I have never before, before um, about two years ago, I had never used skincare in my life. Even, even the, the Sansei brand, which was before Cell Aviv, I used a little bit of it here and there, but I didn't use it that much. I felt, you know, I was kind of young at that time. Um, and then they launched Cell Aviv um, a couple of years back and it blew my mind. My mentor is about 50 plus. Actually, Jeremy's a great example. You know, a lot of you don't know, you, you may not know this, but Jeremy's almost 50 years old. The guy looks like he's, you know, he looks like he's 27. Um, but my mentor is about 54, something like that. And he started using the products twice a day for about three or four months. And I swear to God, he looked like he, he reversed in age by like 10 years. And so <laughs> that was it. I was like, yo, give me this stuff. I'm using it twice a day, every day. And I literally haven't missed, I literally haven't missed a day for like two years. So I'm, I use the, 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 the eye nourisher. I use the serum, the, the day cream, the night cream, the, the everything. USANA actually just came out with a, a little roller recently from the last convention. I use the roller every day. So, you know, one of the biggest feedbacks that I've gotten from the, from people is the quality of the skincare for the price. So the value of the product is unbelievable. You know, for those of you who are in Asia, in, in Indonesia, there was a brand called SK2. People were spending, you know, $100, $200 for one or two products. You know, we're giving them an entire range of products, like six full, full, six products, full range, for, you know, like 250 or 300 bucks. And so the value is just extraordinary. So I am a Cell Aviv man for life. You know, one of the things that's interesting when you are, when you're sharing USANA with people, it's very powerful to have the trust and respect of health professionals. And this is something that I found really helpful in growing my business for the last six years. I'm not afraid to talk to any doctor or any physician or any um, chiropractor or anybody that's a health professional about USANA because all they have to do is they can look it up in the physician rest in the physician's desk reference, the, the CPS, which is the compendium of pharmaceuticals in Asia, you have the, the MIMS. Um, all you have to do is have, you know, the doctors look up in their book for USANA and they're gonna see, not only are, do we have eight 
products that are included in those major publications, but they're certified to have no side effects, which you're, you know, you're not going to find that with other, other nutritional products. So it's, it's a really great way of um, being able to grow your business and having trust in, 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 in your products when you have the backing of um, USANA with, with doctors. And now in USANA, we have the Ask the Scientist application. You have access to scientists and doctors like all the time where you can ask questions of. Um, you know, the resources that we have at USANA right now at our disposal as associates is, is, is extraordinary. So you can believe in these products, you can be proud of these products and you can, you can trust that um, people who know their stuff will be impressed by the quality of what we do. So when it comes to the USANA lifestyle, you know, that's, I've really enjoyed the USANA lifestyle more than anything else. You know, I got into this business in originally because I was in a bad place in my life. I, my traditional businesses were not going well. I didn't see a light at the end of the tunnel. I wanted to get married to my beautiful wife, but I didn't see a way to be able to make that happen. And USANA is really the thing that came along. It helped me get my wife out of her job. She was a teacher for 10 years. She retired. Um, I got out of my traditional businesses. And now, you know, we're not millionaires yet. Um, but we have a great lifestyle. We have freedom. You know, that time that we talked about earlier, it's the most precious resource that we have. You can't manufacture more time. You know, you only get 24 hours in the day, as we said. So the, the lifestyle to me is really about being as healthy as you can and living as free as you possibly can. So when it comes to the business side of things in USANA, um, one of the things that I love is you're not going to see USANA associates out there being hyperbolic about or exaggerating about what you can do with the, with the business, you know, promising, you know, trips and cars and all of this stuff. Don't get me wrong. You can make great money in USANA, but it takes something. You know, Jeremy's a seven figure earner. You know, he's a great example of somebody that has inspired thousands of people all over the world to make a great living in USANA and has gotten really well compensated for that. And he deserves to be, you know, but just like anything in life, whether it's going to the gym or it's, it's business or it's anything, right? You get out what you put in. So there's a whole spectrum of possible um, outcomes in terms of, of what you can create with USANA and everybody's got different goals, right? So you might be someone who is in love with the products, you, you know, you, you wanna use the products and you'd love to be able to, you know, get some of your products for free or get all of your, all of your products for free. We have a new preferred customer um, program that's extraordinary. You know, our customers can even share products with their friends and get money back for, um, for products for themselves. Um, so you can be, you know, you can be an average person who just wants to make a little bit of extra cash, right? Enroll test 10 customers. They spend a hundred bucks. It's a thousand dollars a month in sales, 10%, you know, you get a hundred dollars a month or $1,200 a year. That's basically, you know, your products, your products for free for the year. That's, that's, that's extraordinary. Or you can be, you know, somebody like we talked earlier, you know, the, the people that they're in a job, they can't get rid of their job because the job pays the bills, but they don't like what they're doing. And they want some additional cash to go on a vacation or to have a car or to just be able to spend some, you know, some additional time with their family and potentially work their way out of a job and potentially do the, do the side hustle full time, you know, for somebody like that, you can start training other associates, right? So you get your 10 customers and then you have other people who are like-minded like you, right? They're looking for another path right? You get four of those, you teach them to get their 10. Now you've got 50 customers ordering $100 a month. And now you got 500, sorry, 5,000 a month in sales. With a 10% payout, you got $500 a month. And by the way, you can, you can, there are ways in our compensation plan where you can get more than 10%, right? But we'll just concede, we'll keep it conservative because it's already impressive, right? Who, who wouldn't be able to who wouldn't want an extra 500 bucks a month? That's $6,000 a year. 
right? Or you can be someone who's looking for a, for a part-time income. This is really where I was, to be honest, when, when, when it was time for me to make that, the, the transition, you know, I was making a part-time income with USANA and I could see the full time on the horizon. And I was sick of my, my traditional business and the part-time income was enough to get me to think I'm going to buy my time back. And so when we moved to Indonesia, we lived on a very, very small, you know, amount of money each week in order to subsidize our business so that we could grow that, you know, and that was a smart investment. So with a part-time income, you train your four people to find their four people, right? You got 20 affiliates, 10 customers, 200 customers ordering hundred dollars a month. That's 20,000 a month in sales, 10%, 2000 a month, $24,000 a year. Okay. That's a phenomenal part-time income. That is, that is very possible for anybody that, that is on this, that is on this call. And then you have your full timers, right? So this is somebody who is, you know, they've made the transition like me, right? They were doing it part time. They've made the transition. You know, now they have people in their team that they're working with. Some of my team here are, are, are from, from Indonesia are on the call now, right? So they know you get a mentor, you work with people, you start working with them on their mindset and their skill set. You help them develop their own part time income, right? So you train 16. You, you, you train 16 people to find four people. That's 84 affiliates. Now, if you get those 84 to get their 10 customers, that's 100, 840 customers spending $100 a month. That's $84,000 a month in sales. With our minimum payout, which is 10%, that's $8,400 a month or $100,000 a year. Okay. And I'm telling you, this is also very possible for anybody that's on this call with time, commitment, perseverance, mentorship. You guys can do this. Okay. You're not going to do it right away, you know, and it might take some time to transition, but it's very possible. And the beauty about USANA is, you know, we all work together. You know, most of the, there's a lot of the different associates that are on this call. We're on different teams, but we work together. There's an extraordinary community. The mentorship is amazing in USANA. They give you access to the tools to go from, you know, wherever you are to where you want to be. When I first introduced this opportunity to my wife, she was a teacher for 10 years. She, the first time I told her that when I, when I first told her about our lifetime matching bonus, she burst out into tears. Because she was like, you didn't tell me I had to talk to anybody or, you know, and now she runs a, a global brand called Glamour and Purpose, where her and her, her and her sister have developed a, a, an, online, an online brand because they've been working with mentors over the years. Her entire viewpoint on what's possible for her has totally altered because of the mentorship that she's gotten in USANA. So if you're looking at this income and you're thinking, oh, I can't do that, just trust me. You may not be able to see how you can do that now based on you know, the way that you think about yourself now. But when you work in this industry, you get personal development and coaching and mentoring, you can transform your way of thinking and this type of income is possible. So you know, whether you're somebody who um, wants to be a, a customer or a referral partner, or you're somebody that is more interested in the business opportunity, but you have some, you have some questions or you're interested in you know, the products and you wanna know what products are for you. Um, or you're somebody that's, that's you know, fired up, ready to go. I, I will tell you this, um, my, the, I signed up in uh, Bill and Jenny Huang are 17 star diamond directors in this company. And six years ago, they didn't even, they couldn't even speak English at that time. But I got invited to attend a presentation in their basement where they had all the, they had all the USANA products on the table in front of us. I was taking probiotics and eating bars and it was like a, it was like a buffet of products. But it hadn't even gotten to the middle of the presentation and I already knew that I wanted to join like that. I could see the future hardcore right away. So some of you might be there already right now. And if you are, I think, I hope, I hope we've already made the case that right now is the perfect time in history for you to be able, for, for you to get started. You know, there are so many different packs 
that are very affordable for each of you. I know that the packs are different in different markets. Okay. So don't, you know, don't focus too much in on the, um, the price of them, but whoever invited you to the presentation tonight, get with them and find out, you know, which, which packs are, are, are best for you. Um, we have, USANA has a, a whole bunch of really extraordinary packs. I believe in Australia and we also have similar packs, but the pricing might be a little bit different. So I'll just look, I'll, I'll end it with this with you guys. I really believe that USANA is an extraordinary vehicle to create optimal health and extraordinary financial um, abundance in your life. But more than anything else, I believe that USANA is an extraordinary vehicle for you to transform the quality of your life, for you to transform who you are as a human being and what you think is possible for you. So when it comes to becoming an, a USANA associate, one of the things I always have people think about is a phrase called be, do, have. And a lot of times we think about the things that we want in our life, the things that we want to have. And we think that we're going to be happy or we'll be free when we have those things, right? That's, that's the way that we generally think about things. But I want to invite everybody to really consider that in order to have the things that you really want in your life, you have to be somebody who does the things to have those, okay? So it's like really the other way around. You have to start becoming the, the type of person that creates those things because that's the way that life works. So you have to be somebody with courage, right? You have to be courageous. If you're on this call right now and you're looking at this opportunity for yourself, jump in. It's the, it's the best decision I've ever made, okay? So being an entrepreneur and creating an amazing lifestyle requires courage. You get to be part of a community, right? You get to be part of a global group of wellness entrepreneurs that are all pulling together and trying to create a difference in the world in terms of health, wealth, and happiness. You know, our culture in USANA is extraordinary, okay? I challenge you to go out on social media and find one associate that's in USANA that's spamming people or trying to sell products to, to people or behaving like that in any way. You won't find it because they don't make it in our community because we build with integrity, we build with transparency, and we build through you know, inspiration and extraordinary leadership. And then last but not least, you're gonna be healthy, okay? The worst thing that could, that, that, that could happen if you get started in your USANA journey is you're gonna grow as a human being, you're gonna meet some amazing people, and you're gonna have the best health that you've ever had in your life. Okay, I can promise you that. And you'll get a chance to earn some extra cash and potentially make some, some big, big time cash if you're coachable, if you're committed, and you really put in the time and energy. Um, you know, the, the opportunity is really extraordinary. So it's really, you know, it, the, the decision is up to you about who you're going to be with USANA. Um, but I invite you, you know, if you came on here tonight, jump in. And if you have any questions or any concerns or any how but, how, you know, how, what about this or whatever, please go and get those questions answered for yourself because you do not want the 2021 to be the next year when, you know, you, you passed on an opportunity, okay? There's a lot of people right now in the world that wished like heck that they had a side hustle going into this pandemic situation, their life would have been totally different, but they didn't. Now is an opportunity to make sure that doesn't happen again. So if you have people in your life who you care about and you want them to be healthy and you want them to have an opportunity to take care of their family and not put their family at risk in the future, now is the time to take advantage of the, this, this, this time in history where opportunity People are looking for opportunities and they're looking for health. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for, for you know, taking out the time to be on the call today. And um, I can stick around, I guess, to do any question and answers if people have, um, have that, any questions for me.